That's that's what got. No? Okay. Put it where it belongs. What is it? Where does it go? Have you ever walked into a room and you you know you want to live with less in that room or a pile of stuff that you know you want to declutter? but you can't, you can't quite get there. You can't quite make those decisions. You're feeling stuck. Well, in this video, I wanna talk about a trick that you can try to get yourself unstuck when you're decluttering. Welcome to the channel. My name is Erica Lucas. I typically share videos about minimalism, decluttering, and organizing everything that is left. A friend was over this weekend and she asked me my advice on decluttering. She is preparing for an international move and she knows she wants to move less than she is currently physically living with and she feels stuck. She's not sure how to even get unstuck. And my advice to her was the trick that changed my decluttering game at the beginning of minimalism for me was to invert my thinking. Instead of looking at a pile or looking at a room and deciding what to donate, trash, give away, or sell, look at the room and decide what to keep. What things in here are things you don't want to live without. And then evaluate everything that is left over for donating trash, de for decluttering. Greg McEwen recently published the book Effortless that I read, and he talks about an effortless inversion, where you invert the way you're thinking about something to gain a different perspective, to open your mind to something different. A year and a half before Greg wrote his book, um, a quote from Francine J had actually inverted that thinking for me. She had said, decluttering is infinitely easier when you decide what to keep rather than deciding what to get rid of. I still use it all the time. We have a shelf that's sitting over there and this morning I said to myself, what do I want to keep from here? This shelf has become a, a, an area to just put stuff that belongs somewhere else when you're like passing through the house or the kids have piled stuff on here. This held our seedlings, which are now beautifully outside and the shelf has been sitting like this for a while. Now that I've rearranged this closet, this shelf doesn't fit in there anymore. So Andy's going to use it in the basement. I just have to get, get it cleared so he can resize the shelves and use it in the basement for what he wants to do. So when I'm looking at this, I don't even know where to, like I'm stuck. Everything needs to have a home or it needs to be removed from the home and decluttered. And when I'm looking at it, I just don't even know like where to start. So. If I take a step back and I think about it, my trick has been to decide what to keep and then evaluate everything else. So, okay. I know I want to keep my label maker, which belongs in my desk. I know my son wants to keep this shirt because it's for a movie that he's writing. This is the costume for it. This still fits my son, so this is just laundry that belongs somewhere else. I know I want to keep my hobnail. I like to collect white hobnail ceramics, and these have my seeds that I still want to do something with this year. Okay, so I'm just going to put things where they belong to start. Photo albums go in the basement with all the other photo albums. These are Lego Boost that needs to go upstairs. That's what I know I want to keep. Um, so now I just evaluate what's left. This is tissue paper. This just belongs with gift wrap upstairs. I'm, it's in great shape, I'm gonna keep it. Okay, this is a bin that matches all the bins in here for storing extra art supplies. This is literally just ripped up paper that belongs in the trash can. One slipper, the other one's upstairs, belongs upstairs. Trash, this is trash, because it's broken on the clip. And this is money. Recycling. Recycling. Yeah, it's just an empty bin. This can go in the basement. Okay, so, this is the rug that I was using over in the corner. Um, I washed it. 
It's still perfectly fine. Where'd you use this? Where'd you use this? I'm gonna use this in my daughter's room. Actually, no. This is going to be donated. This is a tray we don't actually use. Donate. Put this in the recycling. I am left with a Minecraft hat. Longina. And a case of jars. We are going to use these for our peppers and tomatoes that we're growing to make salsa and give it away to friends. So this needs to have a home in my kitchen temporarily. <laughs> Done. Ready to go in the basement. And that quote from Francine J had inspired me to create my own personal mantra. And for the first year of decluttering, my mantra was decide what to keep, ask why, and let go of the rest. And when I started employing my own mantra, I was decluttering by the hundreds. Like at the time, I was decluttering a room we couldn't use because we had so much stuff in it and I was stuck. I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know what to get rid of, how to get rid of it, and making my way through that room. And it took me almost four months to get that room back under control and getting rid of hundreds and thousands of things was possible because of that trick to get myself unstuck by inverting the way that I was thinking about stuff. You can do mini declutters for 10 minutes. You can do massive declutters for hours with this one trick. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. Here's the next video.